is some nice looking hay. That is beautiful. It doesn't look terrible. Um, it still is pretty far down into the ground. It's nice and green still, which is great. So I have to put a shock behind the wheel right there. Yeah, let's see, I gotta pull it forward. So this is kind of a pain in the butt to put in tow mode. Well, maybe it's not a pain in the butt. Oh, shit. Gosh dang it. See, this is there is a big giant chunk of wood that goes inside this baler that I left up there because I was rearranging all the things in here. And, oh, I have no way to do this now. So we're finally getting the hay off the field into the barn today. Yeah, I was thinking like 600 bales or so. Wow. You're gonna keep them all? Yeah. Holy well, smokes. Hey YouTube, this is hey. Jamie. He's helping with hay today. I'm standing here drinking beer and eating pizza. <laughs> here we are. This is Pa. Out at Eric's farm. Pa's helping with hay today. Hey, your your camera's James. growing hair. James is helping with hair or hay. That's uh <laughs> that's for wind, so you don't get any wind noise. Oh. This is Ethan. Dilly Ethan's dilly. helping with hay today. That's why I grow it in my ears so I don't get wind noise. There you go. <laughs> That's a good keep the dirt out too, right? Yeah, I gotta keep my nose trimmed or else uh, you know it comes flying out. Alright, you gotta braid it. I was trying to get it. Get a picture of his tailpipe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, 
think maybe the knives are getting a little dull on this. They're supposed to be sharpened every year and I forgot about that fact because Eric used to do that. It definitely has issues if I'm taking too much material and taking it too fast. So I'm just kind of trying to baby it right now, which I usually do. You have to keep looking back just to make sure that you got everything, that none of the knots are getting missed and that everything's tying okay. If you start seeing double strings, you better stop. You had to stop a lot to get the knots cleared out of there because like I said, it wasn't cutting and it wasn't releasing the knots. So you have to feed this guy in real slow, like, minus my mud spots. Uh, I did not hit that straight at all. Hopefully that'll be okay. the field little by little. down the hill taking too much material um, it was going too fast it's hard to control the speed going down the hill I should be going up the hill but I don't know so what happens here do you see this right here that means the clutch slips so you gotta open this up and it yep so there's the clutch so there that's all you got to do Better pop all this hay out quick. So if you got a basket and you've got loose hay, you know, because you're starting off knotting, um, turn that down. Let it run until it knots, and then you just go and you pull the loose hay out the bars of the cart. It's easy enough. These are all knotting good. Um, good, good, good. So I just pull this out through here. Easier with two hands. Easier with two hands than one hand. switch it's tricky because you have to have level ground yeah you need your pry bar to get it up
forget to give this video a thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate it. I'll tell you what, 2,000 likes on this video, and I'll do a tractor washing video. Maybe I'll even wash the tractor in a bikini. Watch Suzanne go through all this footage, just listen to our stupid conversations. That's the best part, probably. No, she, she didn't know she was going to get that until... These guys are stupid. Yeah. <laughs> we were just saying, no, maybe it was just the time or the situation, but nope. They proved it. Then when we get older and show our grandkids, nope, the whole family's been stupid that long. <laughs> stupid is stupid, though. <laughs> hey, I resemble those remarks. <laughs>